Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to this series of Theory of Machine. In this video, we will be talking with you about kinematic links. The kinematic links is basic building block of any mechanism or machine. It is the smallest unit with the help of whom we create any mechanism or machine. So let's understand what is kinematic links. The kinematic links is defined as the part of a machine which has relative motion with respect to some other part of same machine called kinematic link or element. For example, here we can see there is a mechanism made up of several link. So this is one link, this is another link, this is another link and so on. I hope guys now you can understand these individual entities are known as links. Now in this picture some link are binary, some link are ternary. So the meaning of binary is that here we have got two connection in this link therefore it is known as binary while in this link we have got three connection so that's why we can say this is ternary link this one also is ternary link now let's understand the different types of link now i hope that the definition of link is clear to you the links are very basic unit of any mechanism or machine which is used to transmit power as well as force the kinematic links have relative motion with respect to some other part on same machine. Now let's try to understand different type of kinematic links. Based on physical property, we can define link on following type. The first one is rigid link. In this type of link, there is no deformation while transmitting the motion. For example, the motion between piston and crank shaft can be considered as a rigid link. As we know, in case of piston and crank, there is no part which have a deformation. Therefore, these kind of link are rigid link. In case of piston and crank, we know that there is no deformation among the links. The crank rotates while the piston oscillates. Such kind of links are known as rigid links. Now let's talk about the flexible links. In case of flexible links, there is a partial deformation while transmitting the motion. For example, bell drive or rope pulley are example of flexible link. Here we know that while transmitting motion, the belt change its shape. Other, another useful example would be escalators. Now let's talk about the last type of link which is fluid link. In this type of link, the motion is transmitted with the help of fluid pressure. For example, hydraulic brake or hydraulic press are example of fluid link where we apply a pressure to the foot pedal and the same pressure and force got transmitted to our wheels. So this is known as fluid link. I hope that you find this video helpful. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye.